Put it now. What's going on out there, YouTube family? This is Sammy Legger here representing Team JVS. I am back here again to give you guys a review for Jujitsu Kaisen. So I remember watching a little bit of Jujitsu Kaisen before, and I realized that this animation is just gorgeous. Um, it was it was on a next level kind of situation. <laughs> and at the time, like I was heavy deep in um, Attack on Titan, uh, My Hero Academia. I think I was trying to go through Tokyo uh, Ghoul and a couple other things at the time. And um, I kind of was like just blown away by just how beautiful it looked. But then the baseline premise of it was very perplexing to me because I didn't understand what was really going on. So you have um, a couple main characters here. And I'm going to try to go and level out as best I can. Um, you got Itadori. So Itadori... Uh, is uh, a very strong man. <laughs> um, he is just abnormally strong. Like he's faster. Like first thing you see from him is like playing a little baseball game, and like the the I think the coach was kind of coaxing him to kind of play, and he's just like I don't really care if I win. Like you got to leave me alone. He hit. I think he hit the ball so hard it hit and no, he threw the ball. And it hit the fence and engraved into the fence. And you realize, okay, there's something abnormal about this kid. But he also was very um, specific to his convictions. Like he wanted to live and understand and adhere to what his his his, his grandfather's instructions were. Um, lo and behold, you find out that there are sorcerers. Sorcerers that are trying to stop um, these cursed objects, these cursed individuals, and this dark presence from hindering people on the natural plane. And so because of that, you have like individuals like um, Megami that you first encounter with Itadori is like, oh, I don't know, but I'm going to try to save you because I choose to. Itadori is just that type of person. He wants to save everybody. He tried to save his two best friends. And that's how it kind of started, because from that point, there was a dark object that kind of was like a finger. And he was kind of like, you know, I'm going to try to save my friends and try to save you and so i'm just going to eat this finger lo and behold he didn't know that there is a very strong dark entity named sugana sugana is uh the manifestation of evil on so many different levels i don't want to kind of go too much into it if you've seen the show you understand the gravity of how serious it is but the moment that he swallowed that uh is the moment it was kind of like a death wish like it's kind of like an expiration date essentially even though yes it allows him to be the vessel of sugana it also puts him and everyone around him at harm's way possibly because of sugana and so from this point now he has a choice either he dies at the hands of this young man at the very top with the bandage over his eyes and white hair in gojo or he chooses to be a jujitsu sorcerer as well and of course he chooses to be a jujitsu sorcerer so okay that's the background premise the animation just off the intro, the OP, you already get an understanding that this is going to be something amazing. Like, the intro, and like, both intros are really good, but the first one, dude, like, the way they did it, the song, like, it almost is near perfect. Like, it looks perfect, it sounds perfect, and it's executed perfectly to bring you into the atmosphere. Like, it sets the tone, right? But every fight, every single fight is on 10 they do not hold back at all uh, so from an animation caliber even down to just baseline emotions like things that they're having conversations about like you you can see all the conveying emotions that are going on whether it's itadori is like feeling convicted or whether it's megami doing this or even there's a conversation that's had a little bit later on in a certain character in toga uh toga is this very strong other upperclassman and he befriends uh, Itadori, and they have this very interesting conversation later on while they're trying to defeat this almost impossible cursed uh, creature or entity. But just that baseline conversation in the backstory and the way they animate it, like it all looks beautiful. So I just want to say it off the bat. As far as the characters, there's a lot of characters. As you can see, just, uh, just I just showed right there, there's a lot of different characters. But there are, are characters you can, can classify as some of your favorites, right? But then you can't at the same time. Because this is the thing. This character right here, Gojo, 
he is probably one of the strongest anime characters I've seen in a very long time. And it's not just because he's naturally strong. It's the way they utilize him. We have yet to really see him go all out um, in any capacity. And it's just watching him maneuver around. Like, even, even when he opened his eyes, you saw his eyes for the very first time. There was a, a, a lava um, curse that was trying to go at him. And he kind of looked at him. He's like, yeah, I'm so sorry. You know? And he was like, what are you talking about? And all of a sudden, like, it's, <laughs> he, he didn't even know. He was done before it was over with. He had no idea. And Gojo is just, he, he's one of the first heroes that i it's weird that's I, i'm not, i'm trying to figure out how i preface this gojo to me is the opposite of what you would think of an anti-hero anti-hero is somebody that you know inherently they're always presumed to be the bad guy but really you know they choose to do good actions gojo is the opposite you would look on firsthand like he's the leader he's helping these kids like he's showing them what they need to do like on surface he looks like he's supposed to be a good guy when you see what he's really capable of and you see what kind of person he really is, he's the opposite. Like, it's kind of like, you know, Deadpool is, is in that category, right? But Gojo is the opposite. Like, he does more that leaves me suspicious of his character and his perspective on everything that he does. Like, I, I really don't necessarily trust him, which is very fascinating. Uh, it makes for such a great character because Normally, it's always the opposite. And I just had to classify that. But again, going back to all the different other characters, you also have, like, other cursed uh, entities in, like, Gita or uh, Suguru, I'm sorry. Um, Suguru is or used to be a sorcerer that now works on the hand of some other powers. Um, Maito, same situation. Um and they're just very interesting villains because they're not necessarily classified as villains. Then you have the upperclassmen that are the second or third years. Um, Panda is one. Toji is one. Um, and a certain other person. I don't want to elaborate too much on her because she, she's she got a very fascinating backstory. And even her sister in this plays a very big role in character progression i thought it was really interesting how they utilized the third and second years um is, is this a really good anime series it is very dark um like there is a lot of mysticism there's a lot of like death gore um like witchcraft uh it's 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 very dark like even like people getting possessed like it's it's really dark uh demonic dare i say and so uh, just be cognizant of that especially any creature you see i chose not to openly put any of these creatures up here because I, I mean i don't know how youtube is but in general like i don't want you guys to misunderstand there are some terrible looking creatures and entities and how they even come about or what they do how they possess it's almost like they're classified as sorcerers but really they're kind of ghostbusters really because Nobody in the natural world can see these entities around, you know? And so it's like, it's really sick and dark in the, in the core of it. It's just weird because the show is so good. Animation and fights are so good. There's an end fight that, dare I say, is probably one of my favorites of the series. I literally just got done watching it. Uh, it's uh, Kagisuke and Itadori and them working together. Oh my gosh, it was it was beautiful. It really was. I can't wait for the second season. I have seen Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, the movie. I will be doing my review on that in literally just a few seconds. Hope you guys enjoyed this review for season one of Jujutsu Kaisen. It is available right now on Funimation, Crunchyroll, of course. Uh, if you have Verve, which is under Cup Roll. Um, I believe it's available on Hulu, and I think it's also available on HBO Max, so any of you guys can see it at any time. I'll talk to you guys soon. Hope you guys enjoy this. Keep it locked. JVS, we ain't gonna stop. Have a blessed guys. Peace. Filing out the top of the I can see the skyline. 50 mile radius on the timeline. Ain't nothing on